Welcome back all you fragrance fanatics and beauty babes. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jamie and I love to talk about perfumes. And if you're a returning subscriber, I wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you for always supporting me. I appreciate you guys so much. So today's video is inspired by the beautiful Roxanne over at Roxanne's Retreat. I will leave her um, channel in the, the link in the description box below for her channel. You definitely need to check her out if you haven't already. I, I swear, I think she washes her face in like pixie dust and unicorn tears because her skin is like so perfect and flawless and always glowing and she's just, she's stunning. So she made this video not too long ago um, going over different perfumes that make her feel a certain way, D different feelings, you know, happy, um, confident, sexy, you know, all of the feelings. And that got me thinking like, oh, okay, I want to make like a little game out of this, you know? So I wrote down all sorts of different feelings. You know, we got a uh, sexy, confident, flirty, com comforting, cozy, happy, you know, all the feelings, wrote them down on a piece of paper. And then I didn't want to think about it. I wanted to just, what is the perfume that pops into my head? What is the very first perfume that pops into my head when I see the word happy, sexy, confident, uh, cozy, blah, blah, blah. And so I went down the list and just did that. Whatever the perfume was, it just like, I'm like, okay, this is the first perfume that I think of when I think of this particular feeling. So I'm gonna share those with you. And I would love for you guys to play along as well, if you'd like to. Um, if you're a creator and you want to, um, you know, make a video about these, you know, what, what are the perfumes that, you know, instantly pop into your head as soon as you think of a certain feeling? Um, or if you're, you're just a subscriber, I'd love to, to know your answers in the comment section, what, you know, what your perfume choices are for these, for these particular feelings. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The first word we're going to go with is sexy. And for that one, the very first perfume that popped into my head, because I have lots of different, you know, sexy perfumes, but what is the first one that pops into your head? For me, it was Donna Bornaroma Intense. Some of these even kind of surprised me as I was going down the list because, um, like I said, I, I, have, I have many different sexy perfumes, but for, for whatever reason, this is the one that pops into my head first. Donna Bornaroma Intense. This one is a very deep, creamy, intoxicating amber vanilla, but you've got that jasmine, that sexy jasmine. And it's just, it's a beautiful fall, wintertime perfume. Uh, absolutely love this one. Definitely great compliment getter. So th that's the first one I think of when I think of sexy. The next feeling was nostalgic. What is the first perfume that pops into your head when you think of nostalgic? For me, it was Curious. It Can Only Be Curious by Britney Spears. <laughs> This one is my favorite, my absolute favorite white floral perfume of all time. It's a creamy, very sweet, like it's, it's so sweet. It's, it's like candied. It's like a sweet candied white floral. And the pear in here is so fresh, but there's also this aquatic vibe going on in the perfume. And I just, I really thoroughly enjoy this perfume a lot, but it also is, um, it's what I think of. It's the first thing I think of when I think of nostalgic because I grew up, in, you know, I grew up in those 90s where all those Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera and, you know, Backstreet Boys and NSYNC, you know, all of that. That's where, that, that's my era. That's, that's where I live. And um, Curious was on every girl's, you know, vanity and nightstand. Like it was just, that it was just a staple in every girl's home. And um, it just brings me back to the 90s and I, I love it. The next word is confidence. What is the first perfume that pops into your head when you think of the word confidence? For me, 
If you've been around here a while, you probably know J'adore Lore. This one, the, the notes in this perfume, or what you see on Fragrantia, do not do this perfume justice. This is, yes, a white floral, but it is just, there's, there's just something else going on in here. I don't know if they use crack. I don't know what's going on in here, this magical juice, but it just, it is my absolute favorite perfume, my ride or die. And it's got this sweetness to it. Like there, there just, there is definitely more going on. But when I put this on, when I put this perfume on, it doesn't matter what I'm wearing, where I'm going, I am that girl. I, I, you can't tell me nothing when I wear this perfume. Like I just, I even walk differently, like more confidently. Like there's something about this perfume. I love it. The next word is comforting. The first perfume that pops into my head when I think of comforting is none other than Amber Vanilla by The Seven Virtues. Like this one, there is just, it, it's, it's a vanilla musky amber perfume and it's not like a gourmand vanilla. This is the furthest thing from a gourmand vanilla. This is more like a musky, like a clean, your skin but better, soft type of scent. And it just reminds me of just being a mom and you have a little newborn baby, their little peach fuzz head and you're just you're skin to skin you know, they're on your chest and you're just rocking them and just that, I don't know, that that's just what it invokes for me when I smell it. This is an amazing bedtime. I love wearing this to bedtime. It is just so very comforting for me and um, it's absolutely one of my favorites. The next word is flirty. The first perfume that pops into my head when I just think of a flirty scent is Donna Born in Roma, the original. And yes, I am running very dangerously low on her. I need to pick up a new bottle. I'm trying to savor the last drops of this because I absolutely love it. It is just, it's a very good, like easy reach perfume. You've got the vanilla, it's a little fruity. You've got the jasmine. It's sexy. There's a green freshness to this. A little woody it's just it's got all the things you love it's really it's nothing like it's nothing groundbreaking but it's just it's that perfect everyday scent but the but the scent bubble that I get when I wear this is like a the, the projection and just the longevity like this is a good go-to scent that I know is gonna work in any type of situation but, and it kind of surprised me that this is the first one I think of when I think of the word flirty, but it, but it was, it was, it's the first one that popped into my head when I thought of flirty, because this is, this is very flirty, sweet and flirty, girly flirty. And I just, oh, definitely, obviously going to be picking up another bottle of this when I just, I cannot be without this in my collection. I love it so much. The next word is cozy, which I think can be very different than comforting. But, you know, they can go together, but, um, but they're also two separate things as well. And cozy, a cozy feeling perfume for me. The very first one that popped into my head is Vanilla Skin by Fleur. This one has a red, delicious, fresh apple. And I know that some people don't even pick up on the apple, but on me, it is extremely prominent. It is out there in front. I can absolutely pick up a, a very distinct, fresh, red, juicy, delicious apple. And then I pick up a sweet vanilla, you know, as the name suggests. And then I get this, just so much cashmere, so much very fuzzy, soft cashmere that is so cozy. It's like a, it's like this apple and this vanilla are just 
wrapping a cashmere fuzzy soft blanket around you and that's how this smells to me and this is this is going to shine in the fall time i think that this is fall time in a bottle and i definitely i'm gonna need to pick up another an, another one of these i'm thinking i'm thinking i might because i have so many on my list of perfumes i want to purchase I might for the time being, just to kind of satisfy my craving for this perfume in the fall time, pick up another 10 mil of this and then pick up the body mist and wear them together um, just to get me through until I can get, eventually get to buying a full bottle of it. But, um, but I definitely think it's full bottle worthy. It's um, it, perfect for fall. Absolutely, when, the first thing I think of when I think of cozy is vanilla skin. The next word is happy. What's the first perfume that you think of when you think of happy? For me, I figured it would be like a citrusy perfume or something, you know, something with like a, a sparkling, you know, um, effervescentness to it. But, but no, the first one that I think of that makes me so happy is the Britney Spears Candied Fantasy. This perfume brings so much happiness to me. It is, I, I know some people are saying they don't pick up a lot of bubble gum. I, I pick up a lot of bubble gum in this perfume and it's not regular bubblicious bubble gum. It's more of the extra, like that brand, extra, that bubble gum flavor. So it's a little bit, uh, has a lighter um, type of bubble gum smell, but it's definitely there. And it's just, it's creamy, it's sweet. I get strawberries, all sorts of strawberry candies and they turn into, as it as it dries down, I get like a, the cupcake mixes with a strawberry and it becomes a strawberry cupcake. It's just, it's sweet and it's fun. It's just so fun and fun things make me happy. And I'll tell you, I, I was surprised because I didn't think that this was a big projector or very big on longevity, but maybe it's just that I go, after some time, I go nose blind to it because apparently other people can smell it on me after hours. I have been out in public. I have gotten many compliments so far on this perfume and I've been shocked by that because like I said, I didn't think it was, I didn't, I didn't think other people would be able to smell it unless they were like right up on you, but apparently they can. Um, and, and they would like ask me like, what are you wearing? And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's the new Britney Spears, Candied Fantasy, you know. Um, but, but this one just, it, it just, it puts a smile on my face. I love the bottle. I think it's beautiful. And it just makes me so, it makes me so happy. I love this one. This one will always be in my collection. And um, I, I, it's one of those perfumes I need to pick up a backup of this because well, thank, thank goodness, it's fairly inexpensive, but also because this is not gonna last me too much longer. I mean, I'm already, you can't tell, but I'm already like down to the dark pink of this bottle. Um, I, I've been wearing it, I, I've been wearing it to bed even. I think it's great for going, it, it's one of those easy reaches. You can wear it anywhere, anytime, for any reason, and for me personally, I just think it's one of those easy, those perfect, easy reach perfumes and uh, absolutely love it. It makes me very happy. The next word is feminine. Now, of course, like with all of these words, all of these feeling words I'm talking about, I have lots of perfumes that make me happy or make me feel sexy or make me feel confident. I have a lot of perfumes that are f feminine, a lot of perfumes. But the very first perfume that popped into my head when I thought of the word feminine was Barbie by Define Me. This one, I feel like you get a lot of bang for your buck because it, it's, a, it's a big, you get a big bottle and I think it was like $65. So that's not, you know, that's not terrible. <clears throat> but I, I know that some people get turned off by the bottle. They see the bottle and they're like, oh, this is so juvenile, you know, whatever. But this to me is beautiful. It, it's the juice that's inside. Like I, I personally love the bottle. Absolutely love it. I think you're never too old for Barbie. 
um but like I'll be 85 years old and this will be on my nightstand because like I, I just I love this perfume that not not only the bottle but the juice inside the juice inside is if you like fruits if you like um fresh cherries and strawberries and you like white florals creamy sweet white florals then, then you're gonna love this perfume because that's exactly what it is. It, and, and it's also got whipped cream in here. And the whipped cream is just making everything extra creamy. It's sweet, creamy, white florals mixed with fresh fruits and particularly strawberries and cherries is what I'm really picking up out of this. And, and but but there's a there's also a actual freshness to this perfume so it's never too sickly sweet it's never too it's not like a juvenile sweetness in my opinion it, it there's a freshness there that's keeping it light and um perfect for like springtime um it's just like th that's like th when, when I wear it the most is during spring and I get many compliments M men love this perfume by the way it's just something very feminine about it's very feminine smelling and i absolutely love it so and like i said the bottle i i love it i know some people don't but <laughs> but i think it's like one of the greatest things ever and then this last word is something a little different and this is the one i'm most curious about for you guys as well the word is me like what perfume smells the most like you? What I mean by that is, do you have a particular perfume in your collection that is so perfect on you that it's like, if you didn't know any better, you, you would think the perfumer actually sought you out and really like did an in-depth interview with you to get to know you and then they created this particular perfume specifically designed this perfume with you in mind even though you know obviously that's not what really happened but that that's how it feels because this perfume is so like it's just so perfect for you in every way you all know what mine is you all already know <laughs> The Burberry Goddess, the original, the OG, the queen, Burberry Goddess. This one is just, I feel like it was made for me. Like the perfumer said, what type of perfume would be perfect for Jamie? And then they created Burberry Goddess, even though I know that's not what happened, but that, that's how it feels for me when I wear this. And it's, you know, it's got the vanilla, it's got the lavender, the little warm, spicy, sweet, it's um, cozy and comforting, but there's a sexiness there, but it's, but it's not a regular sexy. It's a, it's a very, um, it's a very, I'm not trying too hard type of sexy. This, this isn't, this is a perfume that any woman could wear. Like, it, you know, she doesn't have to be a CEO of a company. She doesn't have to be, um, anything she could just be a stay-at-home mom or just just any woman can feel so confident there's confidence in here there's happiness in here like this comforting in here like it has all the feelings in here for me and it's just it just I feel like it was made for me and I love it you know I love the Burberry goddess she, she's one of my favorites so um, I would love to know what your guys' answers are. I'm so excited to see in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to seize the day and overspray. <laughs> Bye guys.